My role at Deep Judge is CTO, so I largely oversee technical development of the company. We build search engines for large companies in and around the legal space. So terabyte scale document search engines, uh, which bring a lot of value to these companies because especially internally, they have a lot of mess. So building this is a, is a great challenge and it's been a lot of fun uh, doing that because it's a real engineering challenge to make that happen at the scale with all the security stuff in place and so on. I think Weights and Biases has, from the beginning, been absolute leader. Uh, we used to have just TensorBoard, which was really, really clunky. And this is something that automatically grabs everything, that does everything for you. And I think every single person in research has at least once been saved by Weights and Biases, recording stuff for them because they're like, oh, I totally forgot what learning rate and what setting or even what version of my code I used at some particular point in time. And because we are very sloppy and don't record stuff, Weights and Biases does it for us. Every one of us has been saved before by this. So I think that's very cool. And at least from that point on, you just keep using it. I started using Weights and Biases during the PhD. Uh, there it was really influential uh, because I did a lot of model training still and training vision models, training convnets, training generative adversarial networks and so on. And being able to do that efficiently was one of the major assets that made my PhD possible even. So using tool to using weights and biases there was very, very important and couldn't have done it without that very probably. It not only facilitated doing a lot of experimentation, but also doing that collaboratively because we were a distributed team of people all across the world in tif different time zones and so on. Being able to work in a shared space on model training, evaluation and so on, and just being able to reference a training run just saying like that one and then just send it over and then everyone knows what's going on. I think uh, if you're a practitioner who either trains models or evaluates in any way, I think Weights and Biases makes for a great tool. So if this is your full-time job or at least part of your job, uh, there's no question you derive. You derive probably multiple hours of efficiency gain every single week. Mm -hmm.